So in the castle analogy, picture your body, okay? Picture your immune system like one of the castles of old uh, in the, you know, old times, back in, the, back in the early centuries, right? The early centuries when they created castles, they made them in different uh, concentric circles or different squares and different levels, meaning there was the outer wall, right? This big tall wall uh, where they can have archers on top of the wall or have different soldiers on top of the wall uh, as lookouts to be able to see any other armies or people that were trying to get into the city. Um, it usually had a big drawbridge. Um, some of them, depending on the movies you watched, had big moats, like water rivers around them to where if an army was attacking, they could lift the drawbridge and they would have to cross these moats uh, and they couldn't get to it. And there was all these different things that castles set up to protect them. Now, um, if the army was strong enough or was diligent enough or was smart enough, that army might possibly get past that first initial wall. No matter how many archers were shooting arrows at them, no matter what was happening on that outer wall, sometimes there were armies that were good enough to get past that first level of defense and could get into the inner wall. Once an army was to breach that outer wall, then castles were designed, if they were good castles, like your body is an amazing castle, they were designed to have another layer of defense, right? They would fight the army on the inside and all of the uh, soldiers and people would withdraw into another level, close the wall off, and they would continue fighting. All the while, the goal was to be able to inflict so much damage on the uh, enemy attacking to create so much havoc and so much loss in the enemy that they would finally lose interest in the battle and they would leave that area alone. They would leave that castle, they would go away, they wouldn't come back, um, and that castle would live the people inside the city would suffer minimal losses. Um, even if they didn't kill all of the invaders, the goal was to slowly create as many losses as possible until it was too much for this army to keep going, okay? Uh, if they got past that second layer, the, they normally would, re would uh, retreat into this final inner layer uh, where the king and his most elite men would stay because the goal of that castle, remember, ultimately was to protect and keep the king alive uh, so that the king could uh, rule and stay in power over the land, all right? Uh, the enemy's job, the enemy's goal was to get that king. Now, in your body, the king, your king uh, in your body is your nervous system, all right? So your immune system's job is to protect your nervous system, your brain and your spinal cord at all costs. You don't want any invaders getting into the brain. You don't want them getting into your spinal system. You don't want it affecting your nerves. Uh, if that happens, game over. You can affect circulatory system. You can affect all these things, um, you know, a lot longer before you really have a critical situation. Whereas if you have something that attacks and gets all the way through to your nervous system, it is not a good day in the hood, 